What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Unmasking Humanity 21 Questions with Joshua T. Berglund. I'm your host, Joshua. Thank you all so much for being here today. Wow, I am so grateful to for all of the support of the previous four broadcasts. Absolutely amazing. Today is going to be spectacular, and here's why. We actually have somebody uh, from Uganda that's going to be here today, and this story um, to me is something new. I, I, I got to tell you, I, I've not, you know, of course, being on social media over the years, you, I get random messages from people from different parts of the world that are raising money for orphans and raising money for their churches or ministries, and they're trying to free slavery. And there's, there's a lot of that going on, but I got to tell you something, every single time I invite one of them to come on one of my broadcasts, they don't want to do it. I don't understand why. I'm not saying that they're fake or phony or any of those other things, but this is the first time I've ever been approached about helping somebody financially or helping somebody with support that they actually wanted to come on a broadcast to talk about the work that they do. And so I wanna read you a little bit uh, about our guest now, and I'm gonna pronounce the name wrong. I'm gonna do my best, forgive me. Um, I'm trying to learn. I barely say my own name correctly. So, and that's not an excuse but I get to be better at this and I'm working on it. So let me read you about our guest really quick. I am Jonathan Ginagura, a community activist and social entrepreneur at a a refugee camp in Uganda at Nate Kaval Refugee Settlement Camp. I am a Congolese by nationality. I dropped my home country DRC due to political conflict, conflict where all my family were killed. I decided to come to Uganda to look for social protection. I got chills. I am a founder and executive director at Gosoapi. Gosoapi. Gosoapi is a refugee-led organization dedicated to empowering refugees to become self-sustainable. This is huge. Founded by refugees for refugees, Gosoapi provides training, resources, and support to help refugees develop skills and start their online businesses. Wow. Through agriculture, soap making, and other initiatives, I gotta help. I can help. Media Company in a Box can help. I wanna serve. He doesn't know this yet, but I wanna help. Gosoapi is transforming lives and fostering a sense of community and hope in Nakival Refugee Settlement Camp. By supporting Gosoapi, you're investing in refugee empowerment and self-sufficiency. Wow, I want to cry. Oh my gosh. Um, so the, the description highlights refugee-led and refugee-focused approach. I think you use chat GPD. That's totally fine. Empowerment and self-sustainability goals. Practical initiatives like agriculture and salt making. The dude's bringing a solution. A sustainable solution. Not just throwing money at the problem. Oh my gosh, we have, to, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we have to support him. And you're about to find out why. I, I've never spoken to him on the phone. I have no idea um, what's about to happen. I just know that I've been following him on LinkedIn and watching what he's doing, and it's the real deal. Like, I want to go there and help. I want to go there and help. Like, God, send me. Send me to Uganda. I want to go to Uganda. Can someone help me go to Uganda and help? Because I can help all of these things. If it's God's will, of course but I want to, I have the skill set. I'm not supposed to be making this about me right now. I apologize. Okay, community building and hope, impact and support of donations. So basically here's the deal. Uh, Jonathan is looking for support. They're looking for donations to sow into the work they're doing so they can help multiply and they can expand their resources. This is a solution. This is not, please give me money because I'm a debt slave. And look, that's awful. The debt slavery problem that we have from brick kiln slavery and other things that happen around the world, the cobalt mining, the using child slaves, there's a lot of problems, right? This is a solution. I'm so pumped to introduce to you Jonathan today. Ladies and gentlemen, Unmasking Humanity, 21 questions. In Uganda, I'm in Oklahoma City, But our guest is in Uganda, and this is going to be powerful. I am humbled for this opportunity, and I pray that you are inspired by this, and I pray that you are led to give and sow into this, because I believe the work he's doing is real, and 
This is gonna be an awesome 21 questions. Thank you for being here. We're officially on the World's Mayor Experience platform. You can find that at joshuatbergland.com. There's tons of free courses, free trainings, tons of different video content, different varieties of video. I think we have seven categories of video. It's awesome. You should check out the platform. It's fun to hang out. Lots of new things coming. But this today is about Jonathan and the work he's doing. So ladies and gentlemen, live from Uganda, Unmasking Humanity, 21 Questions with Joshua T. Berglund featuring my new friend, Jonathan Ngura. I hope I said that right. We'll see you soon. I did it again. I'll see you right after, uh, you know, there's going to be a picture here and it's going to change and then it's going to show you the guest. Anyway, thank you for being here. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for Unmasking Humanity 21 Questions. We are live in Uganda right now. Actually, I'm in Oklahoma City. Our special guest is in Uganda, Jonathan Gnangura. Did I say it right? Yeah, all right. I'm so pumped. <laughs> I, in the intro today, I read a little bit about your story and what you're doing and I got to tell you, I had chills. I almost started crying like twice, and I got so motivated and inspired. I am so blessed and so excited to have you here for 21 Questions. Thank you for being here. Thank you. My so, pleasure to talk with you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to have you here. Before we get into the 21 Questions, I would love to know, what are you grateful for today and why? Uh, okay. For today, actually, um, by the name of Jonathan Gangura, I'm a community activist and social entrepreneur and a refugee in Uganda. Uh, since uh, 20, 2013, I left my home country, but then I find myself uh, being a refugee to Uganda due to the political conflict. So for today, I'm looking forward to share more about my personal story and the organization that I'm leading and also some of the challenge uh, that my community are facing and also um, ways forward. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are you ready for 21 questions? Yes, of course. Okay. All right. So number one. If Gozoapi were a superhero, what would its origin story be? And what superpowers would it have in the fight against refugee challenges? Okay, so that is a good uh, question. Gozoapi, uh once a refugee named Akelo, uh, discovered a, glow, a glowing scope stone that granted uh her powers her powers to protect and empower the community fighting refugee challenges with resources pop populations um education blacks and healing touch beautiful beautiful <laughs> can you share a before and after story that would make even the most skeptical person believe in the power of refugee-led initiatives. Okay. Uh, once I have been, uh, because I've been in Uganda, I've been seeing how refugees are so innovative. But then I was invited as seeing of um, was to trying to develop uh, that is so solar panel a, a system that can local farmers can you hear me as well it, hold on just a second i'm going to ask you the question again um we're having a echo issue that's okay um let me ask you the question one more time and see if we have a better connection this time. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Maybe. Wait, wait. Can you see me? 
Yeah, I see you. Okay. Okay. Let's do the question one more time. Can you share a before and after story that would make even the most skeptical person believe in the power of refugee-led initiatives? Okay, GOSOP, a refugee-led organization, transform native valley refugees. Uh, refi GOSOP, a refugee-led organization, transformed Naki Valley and resources after established a thriving school, healthy care center and resources, resource hub, empowering uh, more than uh, 50, uh, 500 refugees by providing impact, uh, by pro providing the impact of refugee-led initiative. Thank you. Number three, if you could create a reality TV show about life in the Naki Aval refugee settlement camp, what would be the most surprising plot twist for viewers? Okay, so um, the name would be Reliancy Rising, a reality TV show about Native Valley Refugee Settlement Camp reveal a surprising plot tweet like this. Despite facing Im imaginable challenges of refugees, find joy, love, and hope, showcasing the humanity spirit, spirit's capacity, capacity to thrive in the most un unexpected ways. I would watch that. Yeah. Yeah. I love the work <laughs> you're doing, by the way. I just love it. I, I'm, I, I told you in the beginning, I almost started crying when I read what you wrote to me because the work you're doing is so inspiring because you're actually providing solutions. So I, I love this. Thank you. Um, so this is, okay, here we go. This is something about what you're doing right now. How does Gasapi turn soap making into a secret weapon for refugee empowerment? By providing refugee women with sustainable income source, promoting economic independence and fostering a sense of a community and purpose, intimacy, empowering them to build their lives with dignity. Dignity, that's something that we, I think a lot, I love that word so much because it's not said enough and it's so important, but also having a sense of purpose, how life-giving that can be. I, I love it. Such a beautiful answer. Thank you. <laughs> if you could challenge any world leader, if you could challenge any world leader to live in Nakeville for a week, who would it be and what do you think they would learn? Okay. Okay. Uh, the challenge uh, we would call the UN uh, General Secretary, Antonio Guterres, to live in Naki Valley for a week. He can learn fast, fast about resiliency and resourcefulness of refugees. Um, resiliency and resourceful of refugees and the challenges that refugees are facing and they need sustained support and investment in the refugee-led initiative like GOSOPI. What's the most unexpected skill you've discovered among the refugees that could revolutionize the future? Uh, I've, discovered, uh, I've discovered a remarkable talent for coding a coding and app development among refugees, hmm. which could revol could revolution their future by providing a competitive edge in the global digital economy, creating innovation solution for their communities. Yes, you totally get it. You totally get it. Thank I'm you. so pumped. All right. 
And if anyone ever wonders why I'm so excited about the fourth industrial revolution, he's saying it because without these technologies, there is no advancement. There's no level of the playing field. People like Jonathan and other refugees don't get opportunities without this technology. So I love this. I love it. I love it. And you're right. The coding, it's almost shocking how great the coders and <laughs> the people, like I've met more people that are skilled at coding in Africa than I have anywhere else. It's absolutely amazing to me. All right. This is such a great answer. Okay. Okay. If Ghost Rappi had a theme song, what genre would it be? And what would the chorus say? If go if Gosopi had a a, a a theme song, it would be an uplifting uh, Afrobeat track, blending African rhythm with inspiration lyric, and the the chorus would say, "Empower empowerment is the key. Gosopi leads the way." We stop and hope we 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 rise, building bright days. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. The song so would, Go ahead. Oh, keep going. Rise up, symbolizing the resiliency and determination of refugees and impact of Gosopi initiative. That sounds like a hit. I know a beat maker. I know someone to make beats. If do you need someone that you need beats? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. I know a guy. I know a guy. I'll connect you. Um, all drum. right. Play drum. You play the drums? Yes, I know how to play drums. Nice. I wish I could play the drums. I'm not coordinated enough to do both. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> Can you share can you share a moment when a refugee's innovation what I'm sorry can you share a moment when a refugee refugee's innovative idea made you think why didn't I think of that Okay um I've seen a refugee named by Grace created a solar power powered water purification system by using a local source materials making clean water accessible to hundreds people left and he support the community by providing clean water so that was the very very idea that was uh supported me much i was supported me much to know uh, to think what i can do for my community and have that motivation to do more than even that Jonathan, you're a blessing, man. You're a blessing. I, <laughs> I'm so grateful that you came on today. I'm learning so much, and wow, this is amazing. Okay, um, yeah. Next question: If you could create a new national holiday to celebrate refugee resilience, what would it be called, and how would people celebrate it? Okay. Nice question. I would create Hope Rising Day. Hope Rising Day. To celebrate refugee resiliency, people would come together for culture festival, storytelling events, and community services, a service projects, honoring the strength and determination of the refugee and promoting empathy and understanding among refugees and uh, promote social cohesion. It's amazing. I love all of your answers. <laughs> it, they speak right to my heart. Like this is, it's what I'm all about. Like, Actually, this is so last cool. Year, last year I organized a festival that's called um, Sing, po uh, Sing, po uh, Sing for Peace. Sing for peace. Uh, Sing for peace uh, was for was for um, social cohesion, but yeah. then we 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 empowered 
uh, some different uh, artists. This was uh, this. This is uh, the refugees around the camp that is talent, but then gather them for peace, showing them their culture, dance, music, and whatever. So amazing! So awesome! <laughs> What's the most bizarre? or creative use of limited resources you've seen in the camp that would impress a Silicon Valley investor? Okay. I've seen refugee in Lucky Valley uh, create a makeshift wins. that have been using basico, bas basico, basicos, plastic bottles and crops made to generate electricity. So showcasing their unity and resourcefulness in the face of the adversity. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh my gosh. Okay. How does Gosapi turn agriculture into a cool career path for young refugees who might be dreaming of city life uh so gossipy can make agriculture cool by introducing modern farming technical leveraging technology like hydro panic and vertical farming and creating a sense a sense of community and entrepreneurship among young refugees they empowered to become agripreneurs, proudly growing their own food and building their sustainable futures. So cool. So cool. If you could send a message to your past self when you first arrived at Nackyville, what surprising advice would you give? Uh, embrace the unknown and don't assume you have all the answer uh list more they are from refugee resilience and creative and trust their resourcefulness and inspire innovation solution by humble to let go of a uh, prevent the nation they will come from the refugee themselves not from your own spontaneous very good that's great advice actually that advice is good for everyone so that's amazing what, yeah. what's the most unexpected positive outcome that has emerged from the challenges faced in the refugee camp so uh sure uh, okay the most unexpected positive outcome in the emergence of the vibrant community that has formed in the camp where pg could where refugees from different countries and backgrounds have come together to put each other their skills and build a new sense of purpose and belonging despite their challenges they have created a resiliency thriving community that is a testament of the human spirit <laughs> beautiful absolutely Sorry, beautiful. let me let me let me plug in my, my computer Okay, all good. You gotta love technology. The fact that we even have the opportunity to broadcast here, I'm in Oklahoma, he's in Uganda. The fact that we can do this, even though the connection's not great, what a blessing. I mean, this is the, one of the more inspiring things I've ever heard in my life. So thank you all for being, uh, you know, being patient with the technical challenges and things like that, but this is great. You ready? I'm back. All right. Okay. Good to have you back. All right. If Gosapi were to create a board game about the refugee experience, what would be the most challenging square on the board? Come on again. Okay. If Gosapi were to create a board game about the refugee experience, what would be the most challenging square on the board? 
Gosopi, uh, I don't get, I don't get. Is question number what? Let's see. It's right after the positive outcome question. Okay. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen. 15, 16. I think 16. Okay. It is a Gosopi team. It is all about Gosopi team. The board game. Board game. If you were to create a board game about the refugee experience, what would be the most challenging square on the board? Okay. The most challenging square on the board would uh, certainly where players face a random event or decision that simulated their unpredictable stability and uh, and unpredictability of life as refugee forcing forcing them to adapt to the problem solved that was a good answer i love your answers they're they're yeah. so wise uh wow okay how does gasapi's team come together like the avengers to tackle the unique challenges of refugee empowerment Gossip, gossip team assembly like uh, the Avengers by bringing together diverse individuals with unique skills and strengths from social entrepreneur to engineers, artists, and community leaders united by a shared vision. They, com they, they, com they, they combine the power to develop innovative solution, leveraging their collective expertise to overcome challenges and empower empower refugees just as the avengers save the world gossip team mm -hmm. save lives of fostering hope dignity and fostering hope dignity and safe reasons resiliency among refugees beautiful if you could instantly grant one skill to every refugee, what would it be and why? Okay. If we could instantly grant one skill to every refugee in Akivale, it could it would be the ability to speak English fluently. This skill would empower them to access a wide range of resources, communicate effectively with uh with aid organization and potential employees and bridge culture diverts it would it will it would be also boost their confidence and open up a new opportunity for education employment and personal growth I am so inspired. I've got I'm gonna I have chills running through my body right now. I am I'm so inspired by you, by you and what you're doing. Uh you, because I know your mission has depth to it. It's real. It's not, hey, give me money. Like you're doing the work to empower other people, to elevate them, to pull them out of their situation. So inspiring to me. Um thank you. What's the most dangerous, I'm sorry, what's the most outrageous myth about refugee camps that you would like to bust wide open? Okay. Uh, helpless and dependent on aid. It's a wow. uh, reality. Refugees, refugee camp are often highly organized in resiliency community with refugee taking on leadership roles starting businesses and create creating their own solution to challenges they are not helpless but rather they are survive for who have been forced to flee their home and are working hard to build their own lives it is time to shift and narrative from victimhood 
to, to resiliency and empowerment. Amen, 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 amen. Uh, yes. Thank you got you. more? Or is that it? Thank you. Golly. All right. If Gosapi's initiatives were ingredients in a recipe, what would be the secret ingredient that makes everything work? The secret ingredient that makes Gosopi initiative work is empathy. Mm. It is the ability mm. to understand and share the feelings of the ref to see the world from the perspective and to design solution that are tailored to their needs and aspiration. Empathy is the imagination ingredient is a, a magic ingredient that turns soap making into tool to empower and it is what makes gossipy programs truly and transformative wow i want to come to uganda i need to come to well, uganda welcome to uganda <laughs> i want to come to uganda i i i i feel like that I want to serve there, but you know, God willing, but this is amazing. Like I love everything you're everything you're doing. Yeah. Is what Uganda. inspired my passion for to teach media and the media skills and the future technologies. Like you're just speaking directly to my mission. And not to make Thank this you. about me, but I'm in, I'm when I tell you I'm inspired by this, like this is exciting because I believe. I believe with all my heart the resources are coming to you. Thank Everything you, you need. I, I'm so I'm so grateful that you did this interview. I am so okay. Thank how you. does how do you envision the Nakival refugee settlement camp in ten years if Gosapi's mission is fully realized? In ten years. Uh, we envision Nakiva Refugee Settlement Camp as a thriving, self-sustainable community where refugees have access to quality education, healthcare, and economic opportunities. Gosopi Mission has uh, empowered refugees to become social entrepreneurs, you know, innovators, and leaders, driving their own development and growth. The camp has transformed into a model of resiliency and hope showcasing the potential of refugee community to overcome adversity and build a brighter future refugees have become an agent of change contributing to their host communities and beyond and gossip impact has inspiring replication in other refugee settings worldwide And the man with the plan you got a vision and your vision's coming true if you can create this is the last question you've been amazing if you could create Thank a you. time capsule if you could create a time capsule representing gusapi's impact what three items would you put in it and why wow so nice um i would put the following three item item in a time capsule representing gossip impact. First one, a bar of soap, a bar, a bar of soap by a refugee entrepreneur, symbolizing the economic empowerment and safe residency that Go Soapy has fostered. Two, a photo album or video showcasing the stories and achievement of refugees who, who have benefited from gosopi program highlighting their resiliency and determination three a small handmade caramine or paraffin or art piece created by refugees artists presenting their creativity hope beautiful and gosopi has helped a not nurtured and nurtured in the refugee community this item would capture would would capture the essential of gossipy impact economic empowerment 
human residency and creativity expression. Amazing. <laughs> all 20, all 21 answers just spoke to my heart. I, I'm, I'm rooting for you a hundred percent. If any, if there's anything I can ever do to be a support of your mission, um, I, I please like, don't be afraid to ask. I believe in what you're doing it. I'm so inspired. And, and I just encourage everyone to please like to sew into Jonathan and his organization and what they're doing. Uh, it's special work. It's important work. It's bringing hope to people that, you know, would have a hard time finding it. Otherwise it's bringing opportunities that are real in an area that where most opportunities don't happen. You would think Jonathan's doing Thank amazing you. work and I want to encourage all of you to support his organization. Jonathan, please. I want you to have the last word, say whatever's on your heart to say, and please let people know how they can support your work and what you're doing and how you're making such a huge impact in people's lives. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm happy to express uh, the good work that I'm doing in my community by changing my community perspective. You know, I always say that um, being a refugee should never be obstacles to fulfill dreams and create a change. I might be a refugee, but I can create a change that can uh, can the world can benefit from it. So yes. my goal is is um, to create a platform where it can be a voice of refugees, especially that can promote ideas of refugees because we have uh, limited resources by executing our projects. We don't have accessibility to resources. So uh, you may find the need is big, but we have less materials, less resources to, to support more people. Uh, due to the empowerment, it can be technical support, it can be uh, getting new partners, volunteers. So my will is to create a bridges from uh, that can easily communicate the needs of a refugee initiative to the world. Can I help? I know I'm not supposed to ask questions. I'm giving you the last word and I will, but if I can help, I want to. Um, even if it's being a bridge for communication, uh, like I'm, I'm sitting here as you talk, I'm, I'm thinking of the people I know in Uganda that are there to educate and equip and thinking about other people I know that have a heart for Africa and Uganda specifically. I, I would love to find out how I can be a resource for you and help support what you're doing with the refugees, because to me, you're doing God's work, uh, God's working through you in a big way. And. I, I mean, it's hard for me not to get emotional about this because I really just believe in what you're doing. And I'm so blessed we met. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for sure. Please don't hesitate to share our story, our work, uh, getting new people. Please do it as well.